Estelle. Estelle. She's been mumbling to herself for a while now. Mm -hmm. Hey, you coming? We don't have all day here. Estelle. Estelle. Looks like she's in her own little world. Hey, Estelle. Oh, right. Sorry. I'm coming. Do they not have nicknames where she's from? Yuri, is this dog yours? Yeah, he's my partner, Rapide. <gasps> oh, nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. Did you actually understand what Rapide was saying? No. Yeah, I guess that was a stupid question. Seriously, how many skits are there? I never guessed I'd leave home quiet like this. Are you sorry to be leaving the capital behind, Yuri? When I was in the lower quarter, I was too busy just living day to day. Never really thought about it. I guess I did feel like setting out on an adventure sometimes. I'm so excited just to be outside. I've always dreamed of going out into the world. Being excited and all is fine, but don't overdo it. We need to find Flynn, right? I'm excited and worried all at the same time. <laughs> all right. I'm just grinding outside for I've practice and they still about have more skits. outside the barrier, but it's really true. Yeah. Now I understand why everyone says the world outside the barrier is so dangerous. It's pretty easy to forget the monsters are even out here when you live on the inside. We better not let our guard down. Right. <clears throat> you don't use magic, do you, Yuri? It's not that I don't. I can't. That's one talent I don't have. But anyone with Blastia should be able to use magic if they just learn the theory, right? I told you, I don't have the knack for learning magical theory. So, you're bad at studying. Well, that's one way to put it. <sighs> the world is so big. What makes you say that all of a sudden? I thought the capital was big, but the world outside is so much bigger. How much farther beyond the horizon does that clear sky stretch? I know. Compared to the lower quarter, it's huge. Okay, why is there another encampment here? Aren't you the same people? The heck? Why? You're, you're not even that far away from your last encampment. How the heck did you... That is very weird. Usually they're more spread out. Like, I don't know. Usually only when you... When you're too far away from a normal town. So I'm guessing this is the place. Oh no, there's a new enemy. I should probably kill and scan it. Wolf, huh? Guess we can do this. Mix in with the other enemies too. They're definitely tougher. Maybe I'll actually get a chance to, I don't know, do some. Uh, it's hard to get a hang of the free run attacks. All right, who's next? I really want to have backstep already. Yeah, I beat you into next week. Next. Gel base. I guess that's to craft more. As soon as we can go up this hill, if we need to. But do we need to? What is this? New area. So Imperial soldiers everywhere. Will we really be fine? Do you think those knights followed you here? I wonder. Well, let's do our best not to stand out. Okay. And I want to catch up with Flynn as soon as I can. All right, let's see if we can just pass through the hold. Huh? Where's she off to now? Welcome. I've got some nice gear in stock today. This blade was forged by none other than Assam the Blade Master. It even comes equipped with weapon skills. No traveler should be without them. Feel free to give it a try. Huh? What do you mean? The special techniques contained in weapons. 
These techniques were originally passed down from master to pupil, but the Blade Master Assam used a special process to seal them within the weapons themselves. Hmm, I think that one of my graphic settings made things fuzzier. Maybe I should change that. Bodhi Blastia can acquire techniques from weapons imbued with this power. With continued use, weapon arts can eventually be learned by the person using the weapon. My, this young lady knows her stuff. That about sums it up. I read in a book that the Kritia gave this knowledge to humans long ago. Huh. I thought Bodhi Blastia only let you use strike and magic arts. In order to find the fighting style that meets your needs, it's best to think carefully about weapon skills when choosing your weapon. There are even weapons without weapon skills that focus instead on raw attack power. It all depends on your preference. If weapons you equip have weapon skills sealed inside them, those weapon skills will be stored inside your Bodhi Blastia when you equip the weapons. If you have a weapon equipped, you can use the weapon skills sealed inside whenever you want. However, if you unequip that weapon, you'll have to set the weapon skills to be able to use them. Each weapon skill belongs to one of four different categories. When you set a few different skills in a weapon, depending on what category they are, a particular glyph will appear on the core of your Bodhi Blastia. So, if you had a bunch of weapon skills for attacking, you'd see a glyph called Fleck. That glyph lets you know the strength of your physical attacks has gone up. Try all of the combinations you can think of to see what they do. I'm afraid the sun would set long before I could explain them all to you. Oh boy, that sounds complicated. Did you get all that? You learn fast. You should be able to read all about it in that young lady's book. I can't imagine business is all that great in a place like this. Don't get me wrong. I'm not here because I want to be. There are monsters on the far side of the hold, so I'm stuck. Monsters, huh? Did you hear that? Hmm. And she's not listening. Huh? Did you say something? I said I'm gonna go get some information, so you wait right there. Oh, I'll come too. That's all right. Go ahead and take it. It's pretty old and it has some pages missing, but it's yours if you like. Thank you very much. Is that book any good? It's fascinating. You can read it as soon as I finish. Bell book. Okay, they won't let me leave yet. That's good. Unfortunately, so I guess I better buy what I can here. This is Dayton Hole. It's between the capital Zapius and the city of Blossom's Halur. Go south to get to the capital and north to get to Halur. Yeah, I don't know about me yet, it would seem. No wanted posters yet. I'm sure they will be just as horribly drawn once we get them. Seriously, stuff that we take for granted in our games. Stuff like using items on people other than yourself. You... <laughs> Yes, he actually needs to learn a skill for that. The question is, can everyone else learn this skill later? Will they get the, Will they also get weapons that can teach this skill? That's a weird design choice. Where are you? This is a storage for the hold. Fortune's Market manages the warehouse. It's really messy, so I'd prefer it if you didn't go in. Really? The lower lodging facilities for travelers through the hold. Touch of all night, we like to stay. Wait, but do I need your permission to actually go in there? Our facilities may only be tense, but be kept out on the road. Oh, there's people to talk to. Think about how many people never go outside the barriers. I'm so glad my work takes me places. Me, I'm on my way to deliver goods from Zapius to Halur. Seems there's a few things I can grab here. The lands beyond the barriers may be dangerous, but we merchants can't really complain about that. Of course, running away from monsters all day does make you fast. Someone's sleeping inside a tent. It's not polite to pee. Guard station. This station is for guards only. All unauthorized personnel must refrain from entry. Pile of apples here. It wouldn't be right to help ourselves with some. But we were able to steal 
an orange shell from uh, from the tent. This is a reserve of provisions for the use of the border guards. I'm very sorry, but I can't let you have any. Milk, egg, apple gel. Okay, what can I look for here? Oh, you shouldn't be up here. As you can probably tell, you can't see this place from below. It's the best. <sighs> hey, hold on. Hello? Um, I beg your pardon, but what are you looking at? Humanity at work. A tenacious attachment to this life. Huh? Why? Why must humans live the lives they do? They fight for a share of monopolized technology and hurt even those closest to them. Hmm? Are you talking about Blastia? <sighs> I can't speak for anyone else, but it doesn't seem to me like there's any reason why we get dumped into the world. But once you're here, you just do what you can to give this life everything you've got. Perhaps there is truth in what you say. Hey! He's gone. What was that all about? Got me. They say the heat can make people go a little crazy. Is it hot? Hmm. Nothing else. How? Where'd he go? Did he just go jump over the boxes or maybe jump onto the other side of the gate? Huh? What was that? Shoot. Not everyone's gonna make it. What are they doing here this time of the year? The monsters will fall back if we stop the main charge. Remember your training. All those boars. Okay, they're all in. Close it up. Hold the gate. There's still more. Oh shit, that's a really big one in the back. Are all those monsters? We just left the capital and things are already getting crazy. That's it. I'm cursed, I know it. <gasps> the gate! <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I should leave the gate open enough for us to get the Still, remaining civilians. Over... Hey! Help the girl! Whatever you say. P please! I can't get up! Ow! The monsters! The monsters! Everything's gonna be okay. What? Is that a cat stall? Hey, I can... I can stand! Go in the hold! Hurry! My doll! My mama's doll! Hey, let go of me! You wait here! Yeah, leave it to the high-speed characters. Not so much for keeping a low profile. Slide! Whoa! That was close! Almost got his head crushed. 
How can I ever thank you? Oh, it's nothing, really. I'm not sure what I would have done if you hadn't cured me. Thanks. That's what the knight looks like under his helmet? I'm just thankful that everyone's safe. Whoa. All worn out, huh? It really is dangerous beyond the barriers with so many ferocious monsters around. This place could definitely use a barrier against a pack that big. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that in Symphonia. We had monsters, but they weren't that densely packed. They didn't have a freaking army of monsters. Mainly just designs. More humanoid type foes. Couldn't they install a barrier, Blastia, here? No. Barriers are a precious resource. You're right. And with the current technology, we can't make any more. If only we could recover the secrets of the ancient Garayo civilization. They created the Blastia. Even if that were to happen, I can't see the Empire using the knowledge for the common good. You two there! I'd like to have a word with you. Oh, did they catch on? So why don't you let us through? I'll beat those monsters to a pulp with these fists of mine! How many times do I have to say it? These monsters are tougher than you think! You dare to doubt the power of the monster hunters? Stop! Stay out of this! You knights cheated us out of a job back there! And now, we're gonna work off some steam! Hey, hold it! It's always the same with these guild idiots. Great, we'll never get through as long as this keeps up. But Flynn is headed to Halor and we're so close! Well, getting caught by the knights wouldn't be too fun. Let's find another way through. So we have to take the alternate route. We made quite a scene, didn't we? I was so worried once those knights noticed us. I told you we couldn't stand out. You were the one who just jumped. I can't just look away when monsters are attacking someone right in front of me, right? <laughs> What's so funny? I'm sorry. That sounded just like the way Flynn described you, that's all. He often said that you could never turn a blind eye when someone near you was suffering. Well, next time you see him, you tell him that I said he's the same way. <laughs> I'll do that. These blessed monsters, I can't believe they could stop us. Ugh, it's enough to make my heart fill with hatred. I guess the relationship between the guilds and the Empire is the same everywhere. Who knows, I might even join one of the guilds tomorrow. The world is so uncertain. What the? What guild do you belong to? What's your name? Where are you from? Forget about going to Halur right now. What the? I just want to go into the tent area, see if there are any there. interesting people. How about coming to work for me? You'll be paid, of course. Watch your manners around the president. Well, what do you say? So, it's not bad manners to try and buy someone without even introducing yourself? Watch your mouth! You're just as charming as I expected. I'm Kaufman of the Merchants Guild Fortunes Market. We handle everything from trade to distribution. Guilds, huh? They're still attacking? I should probably go up on the roof again and see what it looks like out there. You see, see if they actually I'm change the graphics. A tight spot, and it's all thanks to these tremors. I'd rather not know, but was that the work of a monster? Yes, the Lord of the Plains. Lord of the Plains? He's the leader of that pack of monsters. The leader? Man, there's some amazing things out there. Do you know if there's another way we can cross the plains? We're in a hurry. Huh. I'm afraid you'll just have to wait for the Lord of the Plains to leave. Huh. I guess there's no point getting worked up over it. But I can't afford to just sit and wait. I'm gonna get a second opinion. Ugh. You're with a guild that does product distribution, but you don't know any other routes? 
I could hire you and just charge through once the leader moves on, but uh, you don't seem interested. If it's bodyguards you want, why not hire the knights? Are you forgetting that we guild members have thrown away our rights as Imperial citizens? Once you leave the Empire behind, you can't expect them to help you a whole lot. So naturally, the Imperial Knights would never deign to escort the likes of us. Wow, you really stick to your principles. Without that level of determination, one could never hope to run a guild. Well, maybe you could use your determination to do something about that Lord of the Plains. What you gonna do, bribe it to death or maybe buy up some kind of super weapon that can blast it away? Hmm. Go to the Koi Woods that lie to the west of here. That thing looks like an endgame monster. I'm not sure I want to fight that. If you pass through the forest, you'll come out on the far side of the plains. But the fact that you guys aren't going that way... ...must mean we have some surprise to look forward to. I like a boy with quick wits. But I like one that doesn't waste a potential investment even better. Thanks. I owe you one. Maybe I'll talk to you about that job if we meet again. Estelle. I... I'm not waiting around for the monsters to leave or anything. I'm just resting a little. Oh, I see. Well then, I guess I'll just have to take the other way around by myself. What? H how did you... Hey, wait for me! That woman who gave us directions, she said she was in a guild, right? That was Miss Kaufman of Fortune's Market. Man. <laughs> Giving up their rights as Imperial citizens and just living free. Yuri, are you interested in the guilds? Interested? Nah, I just never had much contact with them. Back in the capital, there weren't any gritty guild types who'd refuse the Knights' protection. We may meet lots of people in guilds before we're done with our trip. I hope they're a little less aggressive than that woman was. You can't see the monsters anymore, but they still won't open the gates for the sake of safety. We're gonna see a huge number of skits now. You look very good swinging a sword, Yuri. You're not bad yourself, Estelle. Really? My swordmaster used to scold me terribly. Well, I have to admit I'd be surprised if you look too natural. I really don't like fighting. I don't like hurting people. How ladylike of you. But if I don't fight, I'll end up hurt myself, right? Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. I wish I could enjoy fighting like you do, Yuri. You think I enjoy this? Don't you? I mean, the way your eyes shine, that only happens when you're fighting. Oh, oh, really? Wow, you're pretty observant. Yes, I like watching people. New monster. <laughs> Tuliper, weak to fire. Is this our next destination? Koi Woods. A forest in a place like this can only mean... the Koi Woods? Bingo. You're just full of information, aren't you? I read in a book once that a curse will fall upon anyone who enters the woods. Ah, so that must be the surprise. Sounds like a boss. Not going in? That's fine by me, but... What about Flynn? I know. Okay, let's go. Will this forest really get us to the other side of the hold? If it doesn't, we'll just come back. But what if I get turned into a frog or a snake by the forest's curse? If that happens, I'll take care of you. You'll... take care of me? Of course I would. Don't worry. I had pet frogs and snakes when I was a kid. If you got turned into a frog or a snake, Yuri, I wouldn't have any idea what to feed you. Okay, that was kind of disturbing. Uh... A humanoid plant enemy. Oh, 
Oh boy. Yeah, backstepping has its limits. Azure the cry of victory! <sighs> Repeat? He's burning for his TPR quickly, ain't he? Should I take control of repeat at some point? I don't know. Apple gel. I should I have to use one up. There. Guess I accumulated too many for fighting those knights. Hmm. Iron circlet. Equip. Equip. Does it have any skills? No? But it does have overall stat increases, so let's do it. Ah, oh, chest. And that, what the heck is that thing over there? Is that a boss? Did you hear something? My feet feel cold all of a sudden. Oh no, is this the curse? What sort of curse is it supposed to be anyway? The voices of corpses buried beneath the trees creep up and lure us to our doom. I haven't seen any undead monsters so far. It just seems like a standard enemy forest. Oh, brother. What's that? Blastia? A broken one. Maybe. A Blastia? What's it doing in a place like this? Let's take a break. I I'm alright. Huh? What's this? Huh? A cell! It activated, but it looked cracked. How could it still function? Damn, that's bitter. What kind of food are you eating? Some kind of ration? You alright? Oh, my head feels a little... I'll be fine. This is some kind of hard cookie or cracker type of ration. What happened to me? You just fell over all of a sudden. Don't you remember? Perhaps it was the air that made me dizzy. Air. That's sort of like the fuel that powers the Blastia, right? I heard that even though we can't see it, it's scattered through the atmosphere. Yes, that's air. I read once that dense air can have negative effects on people. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's what started the rumor of the curse. Hey, you only just woke up. You should rest a bit more. But I can't! If we don't catch up with Flynn soon... What if you collapse again, and this time you're out for the whole night? You're right. I'm sorry. I suppose we'll never get full trying to eat these. Some kind of fruit? It's delicious. Hold on a sec. I can make something simple. You can cook, Yuri? I'm not exactly a royal chef. I just have a few recipes I learned growing up. Aren't you worried at all that Flynn is in danger? Huh? Does it look that way? Well, yes. Honestly, I'm not worried about him. He's always managed to take care of himself. Actually, it's the guys who are after him I feel sorry for. What do you mean? Ever since we were kids, I've never been able to beat Flynn at anything. Swords, racing, whatever. I bet you already mastered backstep before you did. After he'd won, he'd always have the nerve to say, You all right, Yuri? <laughs> that must be nice. I've never had anyone like that in my life. You can count yourself lucky. 
Well, dinner's ready. Sandwich? Thank you for the meal. Uh, wasn't anything special. I thought it was very tasty. I can't imagine being able to cook anything myself. It's just like using a sword or magic. You've got to learn it by doing it. You just need to practice with a few recipes. You'll be cooking before you know it. Practice with recipes? Here, I'll show you how it's done. Watch. Cooking clears your mind, and it's great for regaining lost energy. Cooking has a lot of other effects as well. This is pretty much everything I know how to cook right now. So, in order to make a sandwich, you'll need bread and an egg, which we just happen to have right here. After choosing the ingredients, it's time to cook. And there you are, a delicious meal. You're so good at that. I'm not sure I'd be able to get that good at cooking. Well, it comes more naturally to some people than others. Just because you have a recipe doesn't mean it'll always turn out like you think. Really? So you can mess it up? Well, you usually taste your food while cooking, but some people don't. Tasting? You know, like when cooks taste the food they make? Well, you're a sheltered little princess who's lived her life in a castle. It's only normal. Sheltered little princess? I suppose so. What is it, Repeat? Well, shall we be going? New recipes can be obtained when specific characters cook specific recipes. So higher a character's cooking level, the more likely they will discover a new recipe. The sandwich recipe you just obtained may evolve into a new recipe. Try different ways to discover new recipes. Gonna need a guide for that one. What the? Repeat, when I passed out, you lay down and made the nicest pillow for me. Thank you very much. What are you doing? I'm, um, thanking Repeat. Repeat? He's not here. Huh? What? Maybe he doesn't like me. Nah, he acts like that with just about everybody. Well then, I'll just have to keep trying until he accepts me. Save. Grab the item. And what the hell is that? Bread and egg left over. Can you evolve into other recipes? Hmm. S -s Cooking shortcuts. Okay. Actually, I say Estelle can learn a new recipe from this, so... Ah, I guess I can only make one at a time, but we'll keep count of how many times they made each recipe. Is there some kind of statistic for that? And also, I'm gonna have to buy the ingredients myself. Whoa. We can't seem to find our way through this forest at all. Oh, could this be the curse? What should we do, Yuri? There really was a curse after all. Don't be stupid. Or do you not have a good sense of direction? No, of course I do, I think. Then maybe it's my fault. What should we do? They say no medicine can cure a fool, but I wish something could cure a bad sense of direction. <laughs> Hard mail. Aha, I've mastered the back step. Yes, yes. Skills available for equipment back step. No further effect available. You can't stack it with already existing versions of it, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Strangers are one of the most useful ones gets learned 
faster than the others. Well, the item one is also very useful, but... Uh, so sh I really wish I could transfer it to other people. No, instead they're gonna have to find their own backstep providing gear. Cape. Hey, come think of it, do I have... I forgot to give him a, a cape earlier. Whoops. Okay, that should help balance him out a bit. Any other things I need to watch out for? Let's go down here and kill this wolf. Huh? Grr. Pre prepare to die, Egg Bear! It's just like Bakos' art. Except even stronger. this kid for real? It's all right now. Huh? The monster turned into a girl? Oh, brother. This should be interesting. I'm Carol Capel. I'm a member of the Hunting Blades Guild. We travel the globe in search of the toughest monsters. I'm Yuri. This is Estelle. And you've met Repeat already. Anyway, nice to meet you. What? Yuri, wait! My apologies. Huh? Hey, wait up! Where are you guys going? You guys are here to enter the woods, right? Well then, I'll... Actually, we've just finished coming through the woods and we're on our way to Halur. No way! You guys made it through the cursed woods?! I didn't see a boss monster yet, but maybe we'll fight one right now. Did you guys run into any egg bears? Do you know what he's talking about, Yuri? Nope. I don't think we've seen any. Man. I wonder if I should head back to town then. They definitely won't like it if I keep them waiting. Alright. I'm not sure you two would make it on your own, but never fear! The star member of the Hunting Blades will be your escort! See that? I've even got my own Blastia! What? You guys both have one too? Uh, uh, oh yeah? Whoa, how do you like this? It has information about monsters. Hmm? After a certain point, all the pages are blank. That's because I'm going to fill it up with piles of monsters after this. Hey, wait! Who said you could just ride in there? Yeah, better put down Zoggy as well. Don't worry, this will look good on, uh, good to the guild if you have, like, a, a super strong assassin in there. It might hurt your star member status if it got out that you broke your sword. Oh, that? I had to give myself some kind of handicap or else it wouldn't have been a fair fight. Hey, that's actually not too bad. So he's more suited for Yo, sh short, you guys wide even weapons. Know where you're going? Halor's to the north. Once you get out of the woods, come on, guys, wait for me. Wait, you guys pass the chest. Monster book. Carol joined the party. I don't understand. Repeat. He's a dog with claws and fangs, but he uses weapons. Yeah, I guess dogs do usually fight with claws and fangs. Huh? But Repeat's a dog, isn't he? Repeat is Repeat. What does that mean? Whatever he is, Repeat doesn't think of himself as a dog. That's why he uses weapons and items. But that's not to say that he thinks of himself as a human either. I don't really understand, but he seems very proud. Yep, so show him some respect. Hey, Yuri. Are you translating what Rapide's saying? Nah, it's just your imagination. Hmm. 
unlike T uh, unlike uh, Azuar from Tiamat Sacrament, he actually can use items. Also, why do you spawn behind me, monster? There's a path to the south that I didn't get to before. Orange... I seriously max on orange gels of all things? These usually are harder to drop, I feel like. Guess I didn't notice. Repeat, you are very low on TP, so let's give it to you. There we go. Yes. Having friends to talk to really makes traveling a lot more fun. When I'm by myself, I get a little scared. Uh, I mean bored. Yeah, uh-huh. Hey, Carol, there's a monster behind you. What? Oh, my mistake. I must be seeing things. D don't do that! Our trip just got more lively. <laughs> really need to buy more ingredients. I don't think I have enough to make too many more sandwiches, and I still haven't learned a rice ball. Fail! Guess I'll have to wait until next time. Also, I saw a giant-ass... Insect monster while well, uh, in the background. Well, I don't see it anymore. Like, the heck? Also, what's with this? It looks like a path got blocked off. Yeah, so maybe it's to keep us from getting ourselves killed in the beginning of the game, huh? Okay. I guess this was the exit. That'll take us to the next town, Halur. What? Oh no. We didn't turn it off. Okay, looks like he turned it off for us. Good. <sighs> More skits. Carol, are you okay? E even though your sword's still broken? Nah, it's lighter and feels easier to use. Now your sword won't be swinging you anymore. Sounds good to me. Breaking your sword to get it to just the right length. <laughs> You're obviously some guild's ace. Yuri, you didn't break Carol's sword on purpose, did you? I'm not that good. Okay, there's supposed to be a new enemy, a chirpy that I need to that I need to scan. I already, I already scanned a tree, and it's it's big, but it doesn't seem to have much super armor, uh, unlike what you would expect from something of its size. Yeah, there's a boar as well. Let me think. Map. Still, what are you looking at? It's a map of the area around here. Oh, let me see. Hey, this is almost completely blank! You can't call this a map! Really? You should try a surveyor's guild like the World Cellar! Their maps are really amazing! All the top guild members have one! So then naturally you've got a copy, right, Carol? Let's see it. Uh, well, you see... Once you get as good as I am, you don't need to use a map anymore! Oh, that's too bad. I really wanted to see it. Whoa. See, I think that's is that all the monsters in the area. Hmm. Yeah. I don't need to go too crazy with filling it out right now. Uh. Okay, so down here, over here is back to the forest. Hmm. Over here will get us back to Dayton Hold, but will we run to that giant? Unbeatable monster. Yeah, I can't enter it. Oh well, it's kill our stuff for now. What's the matter, repeat? Why are you mad? H hold on! Y you don't want to eat me, do you? H help me, Yuri! Something the matter, Carol? It's... it's nothing! <laughs> Why does it feel like the skit... Talk about portrait movements swings. are pretty FPS? There it is. This Carol guy is kind of weird. He does seem a bit restless, but that doesn't make him a bad person. He doesn't seem evil, but I'll bet he's got some weird thoughts going on in his head. You're only saying that because you can see some of yourself in him. You think the two of us are alike? Yes, it's like you have genuine emotions, but your pride won't let you show them. So I can't bring myself to dislike him. Huh. Did I upset you? 
No, that's just some pretty deep insight about people you only just met, is all. Hey! The area outside the barrier isn't quite as bad as I thought it would be. But it's like I read. Outside the barrier, there are monsters everywhere. It's so dangerous. Oh, yeah? Think about all the knights going to all the cities of the world. This is nothing. But a lot of people hardly ever go out of the city. Like you, Yuri. And some people never even go out of the castle. Okay, let's head inside. Gotta restock and heal and such. Maybe there will be new skill- weapon skills I can learn. Halur, the City of Blossoms. Yeah, that's right! Don't they have a barrier here? Yes, there should be. You guys haven't been to Halur before, right? So then you haven't heard about the tree barrier. Tree barrier? Some Blastia fuse to plant life, gain organic qualities, and evolve. The tree barrier of Halur is one prime example of this. I read that in a book. Well, thank you, Professor. So what's happened to this famous barrier? Doesn't look like it's doing much right now. Every year, just before the blossoms are in full bloom, the barrier weakens for a while. It's just that time of year right now, and the monsters took the opportunity to attack. Is that when the barrier went down? Yeah, the monsters were taken care of, but the tree is slowly starting to decay. Hey! W what is it? Sorry, I gotta run! Bye! Huh? Does that kid ever sit still? So I guess you'll be looking for Flynn now, huh, Estelle? <sighs> Doesn't she know we need to keep a low profile? And what happened to looking for Flynn? Hurry with Estelle and Carol, oh no. Okay, all the way back. Where is the mayor? Why isn't he in his own house? Orange gel. Might I help heal your wounds? Oh my, you can use healing arts? Why, that would be excellent. But I'm afraid we don't have very much money. No, no, I don't need any money. Amazing! The pain is all gone. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Uh, uh, please don't mention it. My heavens, what amazing healing arts you have. How can we ever thank you? No, really. Think nothing of it. What a humble young lady. I wish the Imperial Knights could follow your example. Not a chance. The Knights refuse to lift a finger to protect us from the monsters. Well, I guess the Empire couldn't care less what happens to us here. No, th that's not true. Ah, uh, but that one night sure was different, wasn't he? Yes, that young man. If not for him, we would have all been lost. The barrier weakened earlier than usual this year, and we were attacked before the Guild could come to protect us. There was a knight who happened to be passing through our town on a pilgrimage. He and his brigade drove off all the monsters. A knight on a pilgrimage. Was this knight named Flynn by any chance? Yes, his name was Flynn Shifo. Is he still in the city? No, he left the village afterwards in search of a mage who could fix the barrier. You know where he went? It looked like he was headed east, but beyond that I couldn't tell you. I see. So we can wait here, and Flynn will come to us. Looks like we've caught up with him. Don't you feel better now? Yes. I won't be able to relax until I see him. I guess I feel better. I think I'll go have a look at this famous tree. Want to come with? Ah, yes. Yuri, you don't mind? You're okay not going after the Blastia core thief? I can spare enough time to look at a tree at least. 
Join the party. The end. Probably wait until I get Carol before doing anything too drastic here. This one, at least. Apple gel. Grand tree looks enormous. Calling all portrait painters. Those of, those of you that think you can draw the best Lloyd, step right up. Doesn't matter if you draw it on paper, leaves, tree bark, anything is welcome. Send entries to real Lloyd. Looking forward to your work. Huh. Tree is dead. <sighs> I had the wrong person. And none of the others from the guild are here either. I kept her waiting so long. She must have gotten mad and left. I wanted to show her Halur's flowers in full bloom. Then maybe... Carol, what's the matter? Where'd she go? Is she really gone? I'm doing the best I can. Carol? Let's give him some time alone. It's over. It's over. It's all over. It's really over. Everything. Everything is over! Yeah! We got weapons now! We're gonna beat those monsters! The mayor's gonna let us fight now! Let's beat up those monsters just like Bran! Yeah! You're holding the swords wrong. Even those kids are trying to fight. I hope the barrier is restored soon. Me too. Even though Dadenhold was struggling without a barrier, they'd have had issues even with one. Yes, barriers really do have a big impact on people's day-to-day -day lives. Well, they keep people safe from monsters just by being there. It's no surprise it changes things. I want to help heal Halur's tree as soon as possible so that everyone can feel safe again. The heck, we got bumped all the way back down here? How far can we go? It's huge up close. The tree's flowers should blossom any day now. Yeah, I wish I could see it in bloom. I know how you feel. There's something about the image of a tall tree vibrant with blossoms and protecting the city that's so... romantic. You know, I'm gonna stay here and help heal the injured. Hmm, if you're gonna heal something, maybe you could heal the barrier itself. What do you mean? When monsters come again, more people are going to get hurt. Those kids we just saw could be among them. That's true, but I have no idea how I could heal the barrier. What you need to heal is this tree. It wouldn't be in this condition just because some monsters attacked it. You think there's some other reason? I think there's gotta be. What are the two of you doing over here? We're trying to figure out why the tree has withered like this. I don't know if you'll make much progress on that one. The Knight Flynn couldn't figure out the reason either. Oh, Carol! Carol, we need your help! What are you talking about? It seems these two are trying to figure out the reason the tree's withered so. Oh, is that all? What do you mean, is that all? I know the reason. It's why I was in the forest looking for the egg bear. Huh? What are you talking about? Look closely at the ground. Notice the strange color? That color is where the ground absorbed the blood of monsters who attacked the town. That blood has been poisoning Halur's tree. What? The monster blood? I had no idea. Carol, you really know your stuff, don't you? It was nothing. Is there anything we can do to get rid of the poison? I know a way, but... Well, no one believes me. Come on, try us. I think we'd be able to do it if we had a panacea bottle. Maybe we can get one in the general store. Let's go, Yuri. I can't wait until the tree's blossoms are in full bloom. They'll be fantastic. I bet there's a flood of petals big enough to just sweep you away. 
all those petals dancing in the breeze, it'd be like a dream. I wonder how they deal with all their houses getting buried in flowers every year. That's gotta be a pain to clean up. You really take the fun out of things, Yuri. Panacea ball, you've got one. Not like anyone cares about my two cents. Howdy, welcome to the store. What can I get for you today? Do you have any panacea bottles? Unfortunately, we're sold out at the moment. But how can that be? Well, you know, if I had the right ingredients, I'd be able to fix them up for you. What would you need to make it? I'd need three ingredients. Egg bear claw, nea fruit, and Leluria petal. But why do you need a panacea bottle so badly? A kid came by the other day asking about the same exact thing. We want to heal Halur's tree. What's that? I've never heard of using a panacea bottle on a tree before. Hmm, yeah. What sort of thing is the Nia fruit you mentioned? That would be the bitter fruit you said was so delicious back in the woods. So, what's an egg bear then? Sorry, I can't help you there. Monsters are beyond my expertise. If a member of the Hunting Blades were here, they might be able to tell you. They make their living hunting monsters. So that's why he was in the forest. What can you tell us about the Leluria petal? You know the tree in the middle of town, right? It's a petal from that tree. Normally, we use magic resin, but there isn't any around these parts at all. But the tree is all withered. I believe the mayor has some Leluria petals. You might try asking him. Gotcha. We'll come back when we've gotten the ingredients together. Oh, he does have an, a, a hand axe. What well, has two skills on it? Hmm, wood mall. Yes, get my new skills. Actually, I should wait until Carol rejoins before doing any shopping. That will be easier to manage everything. Hey, Carol, get back in the party. We Come need on, to Carol. buy your stuff. We're going back to the Koi Woods. What do you mean? Remember? Prepare to die, Egg Bear. <laughs> you mean you believe what I said about the Panacea bottle? Are you lying? Well then, we'll have to go with what you've told us. Yuri. All right. I'll help you out just this once. I'm a very busy person, you know. It's settled then. The three of us will restore the barrier together. Meet four of you. You're coming too, Estelle? Well, of course I am. What about waiting for Flynn? Wasn't it you who said if you're going to heal something, it should be the tree? We'll just have to fix the tree before he gets back. <laughs> Can't wait to see the look on his face. Okay, good. Now I can shop with a clear conscience. Are you the mayor? Sir, you wouldn't happen to have any Leloria petals, would you? Who'd you hear that from? I mean, I do, but... Ah, so that's why you need a petal. The Leluria is one of the three flowers that blooms on Halur's tree. The petals are dried for half a year in the shade, and they're very valuable. This is my last petal. But if it'll restore the tree to its old self, then I don't mind giving it to you. Thank you. Next up on the list is the Nia fruit and an egg bear claw, was it? Yep. Let's go to the Koi Woods. Hey, I've been wondering. How come you guys, and repeat too, I guess, all have Blastia. Aren't Bodhi Blastia pretty rare? I didn't think many people had them. You have one too, though. I belong to a guild. Sometimes we get a chance to get one. And Ruins Gate keeps finding more. That's a guild that excavates Blastia. I'm guessing Yuri might have gotten it from his job, uh, his former job as a knight. <laughs> there are even guilds that dig up Blastia from ruins? If there weren't, then the Empire would control all the Blastia. Normal folks wouldn't get any. The Empire regulates the ancient Blastia artifacts due to their potential danger. 
I think that makes sense. If Blastia weren't regulated, anyone could use dangerous magic. But they've gone way overboard. They have a monopoly. Uh, I don't know about... So anyway, what's your story? How'd you get yours? I used to be in the Imperial Knights. This was a going away present. Repeat got his as a keepsake of his old owner. A going away present? Sounds more like you stole it to me. So what about you, Estelle? Uh, I got mine from... Uh... Look at her, she's a noble. They all have these. I knew you were a noble. Well, at least one of you has some class. Yeah, yeah. Let's go get that Nia fruit. Do you mind if I scratch behind your ears? Oh, I'm sorry. I guess it's still too soon for me to pet you. Let's start over by getting to know each other a little better. <laughs> so then, my name is Estelise. You knew that already, right? Huh? Repeat? Introducing yourself to an invisible friend? Oh, I won't give up. Next up is the Egg Bear Claw. Are we gonna walk around the woods and look for an Egg Bear? No, we'll never find one that way. Yeah? What'll we do then? Hand me a Nia fruit, would you? I'm gonna use it to lure out the Egg Bear. The Egg Bear has very unusual tastes, you see. Jeez, you smell horrible. Me? That smell isn't coming from me! Oh. Please uh, tell us when you're gonna do something like that. <laughs> oh no! Repeat! Everyone keep a lookout! An egg bear could come out any time now! And they're famous for their terrible ferocity! So then, Captain Carroll, I'm assuming that you're gonna lead the charge against this terribly ferocious monster? Of course! But I could use a hand from you, Yuri. I'll help too. Oh, and repeat also. Well then, how about we have a bit of a walk around the forest? Oh boy. Please let me save first. Nia Fruit. Why would a Nia Fruit be lying on the ground in the forest? I didn't see a Nia tree nearby. Oh, that'd be the monsters in the forest. It's how they mark their territory. Can we really just take it then? I suppose there's no way for us to ask permission. Yeah, I don't really speak monster. Carol, they don't teach that in your guild, do they? The Hunting Blades hunt monsters! We don't need to waste time making friends with them! That's a shame. Here it comes. Be on your guard, everyone! It's really ferocious! Hey, fearless leader. You're not supposed to hide right after saying things like that. The star always performs the finishing blow! Everybody knows that! No, I don't think so. Oh, n there it is. Looks pretty intimidating. Th that's an egg bear? Well, I have to hand it to you, Captain Carol. Operation Stink Bomb was a smashing success. Hey, don't go giving my plan weird names. Stand up straight when you say stuff like that. I won't lose! It's a lot of enemies. Everything has more than twice their hit point values now. We need to edit this a bit. Everyone needs to go for different enemies. This. Ah! How's this? Oh, she has her own demon thing now. I thought we 
we were dead. I'm glad we're still. Oh god. Okay, so we are down to one. Alive. Estelle, what the fuck are you doing? Oh my goodness! This is really bad. I was not prepared for this. Are you kidding me? Oh my goodness! Oh, I don't think I was ready. Watch out, this one's tough. Oh my god, oh that spell can punch! How are we supposed to beat this without manual cancel? I don't know. Oh, we did it! You see what I did? That I lost nothing. grade. I actually lost grade. Holy shit. Too. Thanks. That was bad. Even though I. Uh, ouch. The fact that I used so many healing items to survive that took a chunk out of my grade. I'm gonna have to compensate by fighting other stuff off screen. Even though I got a, a combo of 40, you think that would have, I don't know, made up for my poor performance to some extent, but no. I used so many items that it just more than cancelled it out. Damn. Also, it kind of sucks that hard mode, rather than add, it multiplies, which means it can actually make a bad score worse. Ugh. Hey, I learned something. That's a good title. That's all. That's Carol, the only good the thing. Claw. I don't know what I'm doing here. What? Anybody can do that. It just comes right off. Let's just cut off the the hands, and hope it doesn't body slam us. Here, let me help too. Uh. Estelle, why don't you guard the perimeter? R right. Y you sure it's totally dead, right? He's gonna do something. <laughs> wow, Captain. If I didn't know you were just goofing around, I'd swear you were really scared. Uh, <laughs> pretty good, huh? I could have watched Carol shiver in fear in over 200 FPS. Yes, the Vesperia port here can actually go above 60 FPS. Eggbear Claw. How's the nose, Repeat? Guess this Eggbear was not prepared to die. Alright, let's head back. Set back to normal so I don't die a horrible, painful death. <sighs> eh? Cutscene. 
someone Hurry, Lowell! I know you're here in these woods! Turn yourself in like a good boy! How did they find me? Did they notice the egg bear battle? You've gotta be kidding me. Lou Blanc followed me all the way outside the barrier? Uh, what? Who followed you? Uh, just some guys from the Imperial Knights. <laughs> yeah, right. The Knights are chasing their own former member. Wait, seriously? Uh, I say, come out now, will you? Show yourself now and we'll, we'll spare you all pummeling. Shaking in your boots at mere rumors. And you call yourselves Knights of the Schwan Brigade. So, what are they after you for? Vandalism? Fraud? Smuggling? Robbery? Murder? Arson? Rob probably breaking and entering. Uh, it's really just for jailbreak. Anyway, let's bolt. Uh... There we go. What the heck? Did you just clo try to close us the path? There's no way we're gonna fall for that. We can't do that. It'll get in the way of other people passing through. Who's gonna be passing through? These woods are cursed, remember? And even if they were, it doesn't look like it'll take much to get the plants out of the way. You probably just place them there and... Well, even a child could lift them out with some effort. It might be inconvenient, sure, but they'll figure it out soon enough. It'll at least buy us some time. Whoa, wait up! Yeah, it really won't let me go back. Now, hopefully I grabbed everything of note there. Seriously, I cannot get her to learn friggin' rice ball. Do I need more additional ingredients of some sort? I did not realize this, but I can actually change to nighttime here. What the heck? Can I change it back by going to the end or something? Yeah, I need to head to the end anyways. I'm kind of pooped. Who knows? Maybe they'll be, they'll be in, the, in skit like in Symphonia. Max hit a 40 already. Usually it takes longer to get there. I was lucky that, th that I managed to pull off a few manual cancels in that battle, which made up somewhat for my slower weapon. Oh man, once I master this, maybe I should just go back to Scimitar. Scimitar's not even that much weaker, but it's still a hell of a lot faster. Uh, it's just master, evade, and recover. That's what I should have done first to increase my chances of success. Even the slight cost of damage. It's still night. I thought going to the end would have changed it. Okay. Now next we need to go talk to the general store. Ah, you're back. Have you gotten all the ingredients together? We've got everything. Egg bear claw, nea fruit, and Lelluria petals. That's everything. <laughs> all right, let's get this stuff made. Yes, please. Synthesis from shop. Slightly lower level than the boss. I thought I would have gotten something. I, I thought they would have given me a, more of a grade bonus, but I guess I wasn't low level enough, and I still performed poor, too poorly. That's one Panacea bottle, the only one I can make. I hope I don't have to kill an Igbar every time go. I want to make one. Panacea bottle. Now we'll be able to cleanse the poison! Let's go, quickly! Whoa, whoa, settle down. You'll drop the bottle if you're not careful. Oh, I see. Well then, let's go! Prudently! Have you made the antidote to cleanse the tree of poison? Carol, it's up to you. I'm no good at this sort of thing. Who, me? Okay then, here goes!
didn't Carol say there was someone he wanted to show the Blossoms of Halor to? I think so. Here's hoping we aren't too late. The tree is... Panacea bottles work on trees. I think people would keep more in stock. Please, great tree of Halur, restore the fallen barrier. Well, now they know, and they'll probably be more careful in stocking up on panacea bottles. Keep a reserve of them in case something bad happens to the tree again. Please. Uh, no way! Was the dosage too small? Or maybe this isn't the right way. We'll have to get another panacea bottle. Oh, I'm afraid that's impossible. That was the last of the Luluria petals. But... but we tried so hard. Oh, oh, it's nighttime because it's based on a story. That's why. I also have two separate videos for daytime and nighttime for the scene. Estelle. Amazing! Can this be? Is she using healing arts? Oh, it's like a dream! There's no way! And yet... <sighs> yay! Yay! <laughs> You're the greatest! Thanks for making the Tree of Halur healthy again! We owe you our gratitude. Thanks to this, our city can live once more. What did I just... That was incredible, Estelle. Can you get up? Yuri! Flynn's gonna be so surprised to see the flowers blooming. <laughs> That'll show him. You and Flynn seem to have such a strange relationship. You are friends, aren't you? He's just someone I grew up with, that's all. Oh. What the? Aren't those the people from the castle? We can't let these people get caught up in this. Let's lay low for a while. Huh? What did I miss? Where are you guys going? Halur's flowers sure are beautiful. I feel like I'm dreaming. Yeah, they're even nicer than I thought they'd be. Yeah, this really makes it feel like our hard work was worth it. Halur shouldn't worry about monsters attacking, as long as the barrier stays like this. Halur's tree will keep everyone safe. Uh... How long does it, how does it work? Let me check it out. Yeah, just kidding. It's a miracle, I'm speechless. Does that mean we didn't have to fight the egg bear, or maybe she just acted as a catalyst for the p bottle? Thank you so much, I can finally sleep tonight. Thank you, I heard you guys help too. Perfect, the men in this town can't do a thing. Will you marry me when I grow up? No? The Lord just wouldn't be hello without the flowers. Who would even taste better now with the flowers in bloom? Holy bottle. Nectar bottle. Life bottle. You know, I probably won't be able to return here due to Zagi being around. Actually, I hope I don't have to fight him on the way out. That would, that would be pretty bad considering I used up a ton of items. Yeah, Repeat was just eating up orange bottles there. So. 
I think Carol might have eaten some up too. Man, those guys are a pain in the neck. Wish we could wait here for Flynn to come back. Who's this Flynn person? He's an Imperial Knight that Estelle's got a crush on. What? I don't have a crush on him. You don't? Oh, I get it. You two are already a thing, then. No, it's not like that at all. Well, anyway, we best be getting away from the town. Yes, you're right. We wouldn't want to cause trouble for the villagers. Do you know where this Flynn guy went off to? You could follow after him. Didn't they say he'd gone off to the east? Yes, they did. I'd like to get to Ospio somehow. Anyway, let's get out of here before the goon squad shows up. Please wait. You deserve a reward for restoring our tree. Please stop by at my house. Oh, please don't mind. I will be waiting at my house. Please come. Uh, wait. A reward? What do you say? Well, I guess we can't ignore his offer and leave. I wasn't really sure what I did back there. I don't think I deserve anything. Let's just stop at the mayor's house. We can still decline his offer there. Were those the red eyes? So you got both the Imperial Knights and those guys after you? you know yeah, they seem to be a big hit with all the weirdos. And what did you do to get so popular? Well, there's 21 years worth of stuff. Listing everything might take a while. On second thought, never mind. I don't want to hear it. The Hex Surveyors Guild World, World Seller? Hi, I'm a member of the Map Making Guild. My job is to make maps, but I also collect information on synthesizing. I'll let you know when there's new information. Check back often. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Kozu Kozakura. We'll be seeing a lot of each other around various towns. Rapier, Mace, Wood Mole, plus one, Karakaze, plus one. The some interesting skills here. Hmm. They contain my previous skills as well. It looks like it. Let you know when there's new information. Check back often. Synthesize even stronger types of gels, huh? It's hard to get this stuff to drop. Oh, actually I can make this one pretty much right away. Costs a bit of money, but... Hmm. Teach, teach, teach some nice stuff. Tells me what I already have equipped as well. Even if I make it... Hmm. Yeah, I should... I need to make sure I at least master whatever's in my current gear. Hold on. Let my skill learning progress carry over? It should. Yes. Welcome, welcome. Here, make yourself at home. Thank you, but unfortunately we need to be leaving very soon. Are you leaving before that young knight is back? The situation's changed a bit. Did something come up? You could say that. If there's anything I can do to help, don't hesitate to ask. We appreciate the sentiment, but we can't ask you for your help. I see. Then it's not much, but I'd at least like you to take this. Who, me? I didn't do anything at all. But since your friend helped us out so much... Well then, I'd be happy to... No, we can't take that. Oh, um, yeah, I, I guess I can't take that. 
But then how will I ever repay you? Well, how about this? The next time we come into town, set us up with VIP Blossom Viewing picnic seats. That's a great idea. I can't wait. All right, then. The next time you're here, I'll put my heart and soul into paying back what you've done for us. Oh, can I ask you one thing? Have you ever heard of a town called Ospio? Ospio? Ah, yes, I believe that was the name of the City of Shade. The City of Shade? From what I've heard, the town lies between tall mountains, and sunlight rarely reaches its gates. Every now and then, a few quiet folks in cloaks and hoods come to our town to get supplies. But they're quite creepy, to be honest. Our town doesn't deal with them much. Where is the town located? Towards the east, I think. I wish I could tell you the exact location. Flynn was headed east as well, wasn't he? Yeah, I suppose a city of scholars might have some link to Blastia after all. Thanks. That's all I needed. I'm coming for you, Mordio. Okay, so can I just leave and re-enter? This may be a selfish thing to say, but I'm happy this means we're continuing our journey. I haven't known this sort of freedom until now. <laughs> so, Carol, what are your plans? I want to go to the port city and cross over to Tobikia from there. So I guess it's goodbye then. Huh? Thanks, Carol. It's been fun. Please take care of yourself. On second thought, maybe I'll stick with you guys a little while longer. Why? You guys would be lost and lonely without me around. Well, you have come in surprisingly handy, Captain. Well then, let's all go together. So, east was it? Yeah, Flynn went east. Okay. I'd like to get to Ospio somehow. Anyway, let's get out of here before the goon squad shows up. Hey, so just who is this Flynn guy anyway? Were you and him seeing each other, Estelle? What do you mean, seeing each other? Flynn is Yuri's friend. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Two friends going after the same girl? You got a little wild side, don't you, Estelle? What do you mean, wild side? No, it's all right. You can keep your secrets. He so got the wrong idea. Okay, I can still re-enter good, because I need to farm and grind a bit. Do you know how Halur's tree got its name? Huh? There's a reason for that? Yes. It comes from the three types of plants growing on the tree. Those plants are the Harmonia, the Luluria, and the Renin. The beginnings of their names make Halur. Wow. You learn something new every day. Carol, you hadn't heard that before? Plants aren't really my specialty. Thanks for tuning into this Let's Play of Tales of Vesperia. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon. 